You know, <clears throat> somebody once said that you uh, you have to be in love to want to write a love poem, but out of love in order to do it well. And um, uh, if your if your personal experience, if some some um, uh, autobiographical story uh, has has gelled in your mind based upon uh, a love relationship that you had or have now, uh, fine. I mean that's a, a wonderful source of inspiration, of course. But um, but uh, writing directly, imitating or trying to imitate on page exactly what you've experienced is. Um, um, uh, is uh, always um, uh, difficult. Uh, it requires a certain amount of objectivity to be able to look at anything uh, from your life or anyone else's life and, uh, and have insight into it. And uh, our own love stories, our own family stories often um, um, uh, become um, uh, self-serving and um, they, they lack the kind of um, uh, objective understanding of what's, uh, what's really at stake in these uh, relationships uh, that you would want in a piece of fiction. And so, yes, I would, um, if I, w I have never written autobiographically about directly from my own experience, but I know that everything I write is autobiographical because, I mean, you know, wh who else do you have except your own understanding of how things work? And so my advice would be to, sure, use your own love experience as um, an inspiration, but then uh, <clears throat> step away from it, create fictional characters, and um, um, do not, uh, <clears throat> do not uh, uh, try to uh, just copy what happened to you into a story, but go much beyond that and, and use that as a source of inventing a really wonderful love story. Look, I, I'm sure you've had this experience in your own love relationships. Um, you've gone through some kind of uh, experience um, with your <coughs> with your beloved, and um, let's say you have an argument or dif difference or whatever, and then you have rewritten it in your head what you should have done <coughs> when he or she said that, what uh, should have happened, um, how they and others ways in which you might have um, uh, taken. Uh, that uh, that scene in, in another direction. Uh, and so I would advise thinking like that in terms of your own personal experience, realizing that one thing everybody does is rewrite what actually happens after it happens. <laughs> so um, uh, uh, allow that to, to be the, uh, the way in which you work and let your real life experience inspire it but recognize that uh, life rarely curdles into a well-told story and that uh, real people are rarely uh, satisfying in terms of characters. And so you've got to add a great deal more both to the story and to the characters involved and take that work towards something that is uh, fiction, not fact.